Because they believed in God, yes. they built St. Paul's Church right yes. there yeah. in Clapham. Mm. Um, a lot of people don't realise, but um, mm. they sold off all our schools. So that really upsets me because something illegal, very probably the scandal that we're seeing today of the MP scandal of how much money and expenses mm. we're talking a multi trillions of pounds mm. they've sold off all our schools mm. and I'm very upset because I went to Henry Thornton school I don't know if you mm. know but great people like Roger Moore went to mm. I mean Dickie Davis from mm. the sports mm. world many a great people it was one of the best mm. grammar schools mm. before mm. it was one of an all, a very good school, um, secondary school and these schools have all been sold off mm. and yet we want to use people that, like you just did, Wilberforce's name. But the, the fact is, there's been such a big crime in this country mm. where they've sold off all the primary right. schools, um, secondary schools, they've done real estate mm. deals. That's why I said it's multi-trillions of pounds. Mm. So what I would like to know, if people like yourself would get into power, would you look at all the other scandals? Because we are throwing, because of bureaucracy and blue tape or red tape, there's so much trillions and trillions of pounds of the British taxpayers' money being wasted. I'm sure you would agree with that. Yeah, I think that's a very good point. And it's funny how uh, you're just talking about big issues like greed. And one of the politicians that inspires me most was Abraham Lincoln, who understood that slavery would divide a nation. And I think what you're talking about is a general surge in a, in a troubling area where property development flogging things off who knows even if that's contributed towards the massive debt we have as a country uh, has you know really peaked and I think you're right and it's a well I'm, I'm prompted by your change of thinking but you know plead ignorance on so much of it because I'm such a you know a young inexperienced man trying to make a difference but I'm glad to, to, to I'm glad to or saddened but glad to be informed of you know uh, areas where I might be able to help if the miracle happens. On the contrary, Mr. Tom Fox, I find you, you're a very intelligent man. That's the reason I took as Greek line. Most people on there have been asking, is that Greek line from BBC Radio London? And the reason is because I haven't been on the airways for a few months now. The reason being, um, the politicians, the MPs of today, mm. actually, you must know probably, this country runs on common law. Mm. The law of the land mm. is common law. Mm. All of these MPs, 228 of mm. them, mm. have actually broken the biggest law. They've actually taken money from all the sovereigns and the Queen, as far as I'm concerned, and the Parliament, Lords and everybody. They have taken this money and no one has mm. gone to jail yet. Now, if everybody wants to know why I'm not calling the BBC anymore as Greek mm. and why I'm not calling in any of the many stations that's why some of them are out here on the station that we're on today with DJ Henry you know and the reason I'm not is because no politicians I haven't seen anybody go to jail all I'm seeing is everybody's gonna pick up play all these big charades all the MPs are doing a, a, a back door they're running out of the back door literally they've got away with literally breaking the biggest law of the land common law this country still runs on common law today so until I see a politi yeah. 228 politicians actually go to jail that's the change that you're speaking about maybe because we're not going to have any change until we do see 228 at least of them going to jail. Not sorry, I'm not running for May elections this year. Yeah. But you inspired me by your reference to Henry Thornton because one of the things that people misunderstood about William Wilberforce is that he was empowered and greatly aided by what we call the abolitionist. And James Stevens, was that the name of the yes. lawyer that yes. basically said, look, if you want to do something in the House of Commons, you've got to be shifty. It says yeah. in the scriptures, be innocent as a dove and a wise as a snake. Yes. So I want to be allied to that sort of thinking. Okay. And this is why we're going to go to the streets with our soapbox and try and draw people's admiration or, or, or we're just going to try and, you know, use a tactic because it's an ugly, dirty snake pit, yeah. and my faith teaches me to attack the system, not the person, though at times I find it so hard to uh, you conform see, to that. You, 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 <laughs> you seem actually as passionate mm -hmm. as I am. Well, I'm deeply Fox, troubled. You know? mm -hmm. And it's deeply troubling, especially when you and yourself, people are like, yeah, actually, you know, and there's other people in Parliament right now who actually know the right from wrong. And there's a lot of other things happening. Right now, there's a two-year case Parliament right now between me and you and the first time here on any station has just questioned the Brussels sprouts I call them by the way mm. um, the mm. boys in Brussels yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, they've actually squandered from 2006 to for sugar, sugar protocol countries mm. non-EU countries and mm. um, three and a half 
billion of our pounds mm -hmm. question for the second time just now the second question has gone into the mm -hmm. EU what's happening with our three and a half billion pounds which are by the way British taxpayer money mm -hmm. from none of the other not, not EU countries mm -hmm. and we don't mind it's gone to 15 non-EU countries because the reason was this change from sugar growing mm. and they need to grow other crops because we need to buy the crops yes. so it was going to help each other because you know we've got a food starvation yeah. right now going on around the world yeah. and yeah. that's yeah. why it doesn't hit Sainsbury's yeah? Yeah. Oh, and you know, the other big supermarket brands out there well I kind of agree with your uh, suggestion that you know we live in a sort of complacent world and just because we were instrumental in helping in Europe under Winston Churchill and, and extinguishing fascism we've behaved like idiots before we behave like idiots when America was formed you look at the founding fathers Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, those were men of integrity Brilliant people. and uh, awesome people and uh, we have this complacency and arrogance in Britain which really really troubles me and that is why I'm worried about the BNP because here they are, they're rising up, I saw Nick Griffin shaking someone's okay. hand today, he's lying through his ass, his dogs are called Anne and Frank, yeah. he, you know, he's a, he's a tech, he holds some very strange ideas and you know I think that, 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 that they were a young party, um, yes. Hitler's party before he was, I'm not saying yeah. it's going to happen but if Parliament isn't reform this is why reform in Parliament is more important than who wins the election and that is what I'm running for because we don't trust them it's good if you and I can leave and go right we'll go right wing yeah. left wing or liberal but we don't have the privilege yeah. of being able to even choose our political yeah. preference because we yeah. don't trust the system that you know governs us well I wouldn't worry about that particular party mm. because they were on Newsnight was it a few months mm. ago mm. and they made a total disaster of themselves why I would worry and I'm gonna bring something mm. to your attention mm. is that most politicians till they heard me on the BBC Radio London mm. yeah until they heard me on that station they didn't even know what Parliament meant and then you found out they all wanted to run out the back door mm. parlay is French to speak yes. meant is Latin for lies the house that we actually mm. voted for is called speaking lies mm. So why would I vote for Parliament mm. when it's two words put together, Parler to speak in French, meant from, you know, the yeah, old ancient I, I agree with Latin, you. I agree that with means you. lies. So we come back to the old Abraham Lincoln line where he goes, I do not fight to win, I speak to, you know, I, I fight to speak the truth. Yeah. But we all, let's be real, I definitely can uh, have been greedy at certain times in my life. I've done things that I'm not proud of, but okay. Abraham Lincoln again, he said, let us yeah. appeal to our better instincts, yes. not our, e uh, let, let us appeal not to our easy e instincts, but our better angels. So it's just that we don't look at the politicians and recognize people that are aware of their own sense of uh, shame. Or, and you look at them and when Michael Martin tried to cover up that expenses thing yes. and he got a peerage yeah. and you know Nick Cohen in the Observer wrote look, two weeks ago he yeah. said yeah. if you steal a thousand pounds you go to jail if you steal a million you get a peerage it's the system yeah. that needs to be yeah. changed and unfortunately otherwise you just become or we, we just become uh, polarized on one side and, and, and start to loathe each other and yeah. really what we don't need to do that no. we need to take these people on to reform mm. the system. it will be easy yeah. to become sort of furious but um, but where a question for you mm. because a lot of things actually what you just said there is very closer true. to the mic and what, what I would like to say as well is a man like Boris Johnson mm. first of all his grandfather Turk married a lady mm. came into this country mm. he's if correct me if I'm wrong I think he was in a, an American boy yeah he wasn't oh, born in he was an Etonian I know. yeah right and he's ended up being a man who was a Londoner Ken Livingston mm. Mm. which I know this is not true, they fixed that. Mm. Nobody even knew who Boris Buffoon, as I call him, Johnson, was. Mm. Mm. And suddenly we've got a man that I like to call FBI and CIA yeah. running our people in London saying he's the mayor of London. Mm. But no one even heard of the man. And you're telling me that Ken Livingston lost. The truth is, between me and you, inside information, mm. Ken Livingston didn't lose. That's why the damage that you're saying you like to fix mm. it's gone so bad mm. I know politicians who told me they don't even want their sons to be a prime minister of this country and even turn around to me why don't you table the questions Greeky Lion mm. and I said because I've got no plans of becoming PM of this country or any president of any other country mm. okay. but you've got a lot got all yeah. Yeah. right we've got a little bit of feedback on the actual uh, line at this moment uh, we've got a guy called Ben I'm going to use the word excuse what I'm going to say he says bollocks mate you should be lucky that you are not in Iran and uh, he said to the man talking Owen oh, in the Battersea area you can tell Greeky how it is and uh, Paula Fromage in the Battersea area she says hello Tom we agree so uh, my guests are in the studio right now we have Greeky Lion and also Tom Fox who represents uh, Battersea for Britain if you want to get involved please 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 
go into the music reaction, send a message. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> send a message in and please, I'd like to get some feedback, some questions. Send some questions to these guys. Okay then, let's uh, move on to some music and also, as we know, Greeky Line is also a music producer, singer, songwriter and here is one of Greeky's tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Y